No tickets. Yes. Have a boyfriend. We're really here right now. We made it. Things have happened in this room. Hey guys, a new day, a new sleigh. <laughs> I'm back from Cabo. I hope y'all enjoyed the Cabo vlog. It is Thursday and I haven't done like a little at home vlog in a minute. So let me just tell y'all the plans for today. Okay, we're gonna go and take Instagram photos. I'm working with a pretty little thing now. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna go and take photos and then we're gonna go and try this new black owned spot. I can't remember the name right now, but I saw it online and it just looked amazing. So basically the idea of the restaurant is hibachi, I believe. Yeah. Uh, southern style. I am so ready to taste that. I'm feeling like we should do like a staircase photo because I feel like this is like edgy. Let me show you my current fit. Look at the skirt, pretty little thing, and then this top, Aritzia, I believe. And I think it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Get the job done. But yeah, let's go take photos. I should have put you somewhere I would know what to find you. Just finished the first round of photos. Low key, the staircase eats. We had a very successful shoot day. Honestly, the photos look so good. Right now, we're about to go to the food spot. Also, I never gave you an update on how Cabo went. We had a blast. I think that was honestly my best birthday. This girl and I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Cabo was such a great time. I felt extremely loved and appreciated. They got a whole pinata of me. That was so scary. I posted on my Instagram, my cousin swiped up and said, I rebuked that in the name. Ah! <laughs> right. But anyways, we about to go and get some food. Review the food yesterday. It was actually really good. Stick Talk is a hibachi place, Southern style. Honestly, it was good, but honest, I, it still was given like regular hibachi, like Japanese hibachi. It didn't give Southern to me. That's just my opinion. It was really good. The wait time was not that long at all. So if you guys are in Houston and you want to try it out, go ahead. I started my day pretty early. I've actually been doing that the past couple of days. You feel me? I'm just putting on makeup because life is unpredictable. Also, I'm trying to go and see Beyonce tomorrow. She's coming to Houston. She's coming to Houston. She's gonna be here for Sunday and Saturday. And I actually need to see her. Like it's getting ridiculous. Like the fact that she's going to be in my city or in, in her city. <laughs> Why did I say my city? Like it's not also. Anyways, she's gonna be in Houston tomorrow. And I actually have to see her. Like I was looking at the tickets. Like it's starting at $400. Like the tickets. Like, do I really want to pay that much? But every time I see videos, it's like, I think I do. I don't know if Beyonce is going to go on tour again. Because I'm thinking of like, oh my God, if I was raised in the Michael Jackson era, I would definitely go and see Michael Jackson. I was born and raised in the Beyonce era. Why would I not go and see Beyonce? Whoa, I love this brush. I've never used this brush. Oh my God, this brush for blending. Like, look at it. It looks so smooth. <gasps> Period. Okay, guys. I'm ready to go. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera because I'm still working on the vlogging in public thing. And th my bags are never big enough to carry this. So, or maybe I might bring my tote. But we're gonna go and get some lunch. And then I have a meeting at 4 p.m. Right now it's two. And then I need to go and pick up my packages. And then we're gonna finish up some work. And hopefully a miracle happens and I get Beyonce tickets. Okay. Yes. No tickets. Yes. This, yes, yes. It's been like a dream. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, we we just got here. We still have no tickets. Um, it is 8:20. I'm gonna see if the tickets are cheaper. I cannot believe I'm here. Like this is this is the most delusional thing I've ever. They go at Parker's. <laughs> Y'all, it's 8:26. Y'all said the prices would go down. It just doubled. I wanna go home. How are you feeling? Parker's hookah maybe. <laughs> this, this is. Oh oh hey okay yeah I remember. Thank you. <laughs> we were just talking about something. I'll be right here. We'll get back. All right, Uber driver's waiting for Another update. Um, the tickets are not going down. Um, this is manifestation taken too far. <laughs> ready to see Beyonce and I actually cannot believe it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all, okay? 
so this is Beyonce's second night in Houston. Why did me and Duchess, I, I feel actually embarrassed saying this. <laughs> Why did me and Duchess show up at NRG Stadium with no tickets, thinking that we were gonna be able to finesse our way? I'll tell you why. TikTok. TikTok. Never listen to TikTok. TikTok. You guys can finesse it if you just come like um, the day of. It'll be like $30. I was told <laughs> that if you go to the stadium, then not, and also, you know, I've been manifesting this for some while. I was like, you know what, manifestation, it happens all the time. Like, I have friends that have said, oh, I want to go and see Beyonce, and somehow they ended at the concert that night. So I thought I was gonna be the lucky person. Mm. We got dressed, I put on my entire costume, everything. We get there, we cannot enter, one, because we have no tickets, and then two, when I'm checking the website, the tickets are going up in price. These people said that the tickets will go down. The concert was supposed to start at 8 p.m. They told me, okay, if you buy the tickets around 8.20, the tickets are gonna go down, because I saw some girl's TikTok and she only paid $36 for some tickets. Huh? I'm trying to be like her. Why did the tickets go from $300 to $900? And then I also had a friend that was inside that was saying that, oh yeah, she can get me into Club Renaissance. I'm like, wonderful! It was very embarrassing because I was like, I don't know who, like, I might see a friend, I might see a subscriber right now. I'm just waiting outside of NRG Stadium, like, just looking at tickets like a loser. Okay, literally when I was about to leave, my friend calls me from inside saying, buy any tickets, we'll get you down to Club Renaissance. I said, okay, whatever, we're gonna buy the cheapest ticket. And I think the cheapest ticket was 600, something like that. Still too much. <laughs> because it was 600 for, like, listening seats meaning you can't even see the stage you cannot see the screens got the listening seats right I get in I go to my seat remember it's listening seats it's horrible I'm trying to communicate with my friend she's <laughs> it's, it's, it's not working it's literally not working I did not end up going to Club Renaissance and I eventually did leave I think I went to another section and I was able to actually see Beyonce in her full form I was seeing her on the screen Doris is calling me because the love is blind we've been watching okay so is Aaliyah crying because I was able to actually see Beyonce when I went to the other side of the stadium because security did not care. I could literally actually walk anywhere I wanted and watch the show. So I didn't even stay where my seats were. I just went to the other side. I was able to watch her and I, I felt like I fell into a trance. Like I was just stuck. She's so beautiful. And then also the performance, the production, everything. It felt like I was watching like something actually amazing. Like it was 10 out of 10. And so in that moment I said, oh, I'm coming tomorrow and I cannot Wait, I'm getting ready right now. It's gonna be a blast. And um, I do not recommend anybody to do what I did. If anyone in the comments is trying to come for me for not getting tickets initially, I know. I should have done it. Y'all, we are ready. Ah! Eat. I literally got it from Party City. And I think it gets the job done. This is the rest of the outfit. And then I have just cowboy boots. I'm ready to see Beyonce. Okay, let's go. I can't believe I believe the traffic is so bad we have to get i have a boyfriend <laughs> girl he was <laughs> okay y'all so we tried getting into the concert right but we found out that we're at the wrong spot we have to be on a whole different side of the stadium because we are on the floor so we're walking out from the crowd and this girl says oh they're rejecting people are you okay and it was just so rude like why did you say that and then it was really hot this girl was like this is why i don't wear makeup it gets so hot. See, look. And she, she pointed, pointed at me. She pointed at Duchess. I said, girl, girl? Why are people trying it tonight? Why? Backstage. OMG. Like, we're really here right now. Y'all, we're really here right now. We made it. We made it. We made it. Turn the camera around. back from the concert and it was amazing. This is the best concert I've ever been to in my entire life. Beyonce is that girl. She has that power. She said everyone go mute and we all went mute. We all went mute. She randomly said it. The concert was amazing. Megan Thee Stallion came ah! out. Meg, if you're watching, hey. <laughs> You did really good, girl. <laughs> I love you. Not her getting shy. <laughs> 10, a thousand out of 10 concert. 
I cannot see myself like truly paying money for any other artist's concert. I don't know, and then the transition between like the songs, everything was just amazing. At one point, I was there just like this, like, I'm not bored, mind you, but I'm just like, Yes! Unreal. She was even playing songs and performing songs that I listened to when I was in elementary. Like, what? And then she was flying at the end. She was flying. Who fly? I love you. I don't know. And I think also watching her just made me so inspired. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. she really worked hard to get to this point. Like, think about the amount of months it takes to practice every single day. And then this tour was what, three months long? Three, like every and single- she's performing for like three hours. Yes. And her voice is not gone. Yes. Doing what, what they call it? She was doing a little run. Bro, she was like, ah. And she was yawning when she, she was, was singing. yawning when she was singing. I said, I, said, I love this woman. Yes. Blue Ivy! Oh, oh my she's gosh, so, she's so cute. So I really, really love that Beyonce has included her in the tour. I feel like that's just the beginning. We don't know where Blue's gonna be in a couple years, but if she's already dancing like this in front of thousands of people, she's gonna be unstoppable. I think we're gonna go to bed. I have a flight tomorrow. Happy Monday, guys. I am currently packing to go to LA. Duchess is here, Rocky's here. I'm not afraid of dogs anymore. Her name is Rocky. I don't know if I introduced her properly, but she's been here this past weekend and she taught me that I really, really like having a pet around. And you rated her experience what out of 10? I rated her an eight out of 10. Why? Rocky is a great dog, but I have realized that dogs are a lot more work than I thought. Oh, she looks so cute. She's so much better than like all the other dogs I've encountered. She's very calm, she doesn't bark. She's such a human lover. Also, another thing, she's so obsessed with licking my hands. I don't know what's going on. Stop! <laughs> Doris was trying to say I got food under my fingernails. <laughs> I don't have food under my fingernails, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> she just loves licking my hands, like I'm telling you, like. Look at it, lick, 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 lick. She gets in, like dang. We're actually supposed to go now, it's 6.15. 14 minutes ago. Duchess is gonna be dropping me to the airport. She's so sweet. I only offered so I can stay here longer. <laughs> yeah, Duchess was supposed to leave in the morning, but so are you actually. <laughs> Out to the airport I go. You have no gas? I do have 11 miles left. No. Are you gonna stop? Obviously. I don't know what you're capable Girl, of. Girl, what? Rocky, it's okay. She has separation anxiety. Come on, she'll be back. Stop searching. Rocky, she'll be back. Oh my gosh. If I get a dog, is it gonna be like that? This dog is obsessed with you. I know. Was she crying when I left? She was running all around this car. Bye. Bye, Rocky. I'm gonna miss you. Bye. We can wait there. Oh, See you next Coco. week. Yay! So I'm in LA. Literally just got to my hotel, which honestly scared me a lot. I was actually very scared to enter this place because the outside just did not give hotel. It just reminds me of like a motel from the 50s. Um, but I think that's the aesthetic. <laughs> Let's lock this door real quick. How, how do I even put, oh. Things have happened in this room, that's what I know. But let me give y'all a little room tour. Um, yeah. So once you walk in, I mean, this is the room. I feel like I've already told myself there's a ghost. Oh, I'm praying tonight. Okay. Um, this is the room once you walk in. Um, a little TV. And then restroom. Okay, restroom. Do not leave the tub unattended when filling up. Honestly, this hotel, like I said, gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm gonna see how the night goes, but right now in this current moment and how I'm feeling, I'm ready to check out. Okay, that was just the AC. I don't know, that scared me. <laughs> Good morning, it is the day of the shoot. And let me show y'all my fit, cause I really don't know how I'm feeling. It's very different, but I think it's cute. It's given like schoolgirl. <sighs> so this is it. I think it's cute. I actually wanted to wear this in London and I never got the time to wear the fit. So let me know what y'all think. 
I'm still iffy about it, but I mean, my Uber's gonna be here in like 10 minutes, so I don't have the time to be changing my mind. And we're off to the Uber. My manager's yelling at me, the Uber's here. I'm only five minutes late. Okay, y'all, so it's been a couple hours actually since I came back from the shoot. It went so well. Also, I realized I'm not supposed to say what I'm here for. It should be coming out in like December, but I'm super excited. Now I'm about to go to Tati's place because I'm checking out this hotel. Ooh, I thought I just heard a, ooh. Hey y'all, it's a new day and it is Thursday, September 28th. I'm on my way to the summit. We're on the way to the hotel. I'm really excited to see how it is. I'm gonna be staying at the Ritz Carlton. I looked at photos online and it looked really, really pretty. I'll show y'all everything once I get there. Yesterday was really bad for me because I was cramping so bad. Like, do not talk, yesterday, just do not talk to me. I was not happy. But today I feel a lot better. I'm ready to just, See what the day has in store. I will see you guys all when I get to the hotel. Y'all, this place is nice. Oh my gosh, I have to give y'all a tour. I cannot believe this. Let's get everything off the bed. I want y'all to see the real beauty. Okay. Actually, I'm not staying at the Ritz or I'm staying at the Awadorf Astoria. This place is so beautiful. The treatment. 10 out of 10, superb treatment. Let me show y'all, let's do a walkthrough. Great full length mirror, we love her. Front door, okay, we walk in. Here's the restroom, we'll get to that. Ooh, but look at that, but look at that. So we walk in, we have two beds, it's just gonna be me, so literally, I'll be switching. <laughs> look at this, this is so pretty. Oh my God, oh my God, y'all, this place is so beautiful. Look at this. Are you serious? Wow, this place is so pretty. Oh my god. I wanted to scream. <laughs> I really wanted to scream, but then the people that are eating right there are gonna hear me. But look at this. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna go try the restaurants. What am I gonna do? I wish I did my makeup first. Right now it's 1 p.m. The events don't start until like 4 p.m. I've already seen some people downstairs. You know, we're seeing some cuties with some booties. I think this is gonna be a really, really fun summit. I can't lie, like I was low energy before I got here because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be here by myself, whatever. But I am kind of excited, okay? Like, it's so crazy because like, a lot of the times when it comes to going to events by myself, like I obviously like being with friends because it makes the whole entire thing like so much easier. Now I'm here by myself, so I obviously have to put my all. Okay, but I think I can handle it. One thing about me, I do know how to keep a conversation going. I will say I'm, I'm pretty good at that. So I don't think I'll have an issue, but obviously it always helps to have a friend. Also, I wanna say I'm so happy that I'm here. 100% grateful. I think I was looking at the itinerary and I saw that The Dream is gonna be performing and there's another artist that's gonna be performing. There's just a lot of people. Apparently there's gonna be a lot of, I don't know about celebrities, but there's gonna be a lot of people here. So I'm excited. Yeah, my first time at the Waldorf Astoria. <laughs> I just realized I didn't show you out the bathroom. Y'all know I love a robe. This will be put on. Love ya. Okay, you got some towels. This restroom is so beautiful. This place is so beautiful. I can only thank God. I can only thank God. I can only thank the Reezys. I might see Kevin Hart tonight. If I do, I'm gonna let y'all know. Okay. Then we're ready to go. Okay. Let me show y'all the fits. So we have on a skirt and we have on a top. I honestly don't remember where I got. Wait, you're so scary. <laughs> like that was honestly terrifying. What were you even saying? I said we got on a white shirt, we got on a white skirt, and we got on a black hair. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry guys, that's Doris on the phone. Um, actually, I do know where I got this from. I got this top and this skirt or skirt because the shorts in the back. Um, I got this from Zara. Earrings from Revolve. Watch JB Dub. And then bangles from Amazon or something. Say hi. Hey. Sorry guys, she's different. I don't even know what the vibe of this is gonna be. Tonight we're just doing like a little welcome, get together type of thing. So basically right now I'm staying at the Waldorf Astoria, but the actual event is happening at the Ritz Carlton. This just feels rich. What's going on? I literally didn't get a pedicure before this, so I can't wear any shoes that are open toed. So we're just wearing sneakers and this bag. I think you'll get the job done. Yo, yo, Good. 
Good morning. It is day two of the summit. My skin, unreal. It is 8 a.m. right now. I'm actually supposed to be down there in like 30 minutes to go and have breakfast. But yesterday actually went really well. Maybe I can do this networking thing, okay? Maybe I can because I was just actually really nervous, honestly, before going because I'm going by myself. Like I've never actually gone to a summit or some type of thing like this. But my actually, this is my first ever summit. I went there and it actually was a lot easier than I thought. Also, because this is kind of like a networking event, people are more than willing to speak to you. Like the only time I felt like a little bit uncomfortable was like the in-between times. Like when I'm talking to someone, that's cool, that's great. But then now when the conversation's over, it's like now I'm looking for another person to talk to. And that's the moment when I feel like a little bit like nervous. And so then I'll start texting Doris. Yeah, other than that, it was a very, very great time. The speaker yesterday was Jalen Brown. I, he's a basketball player. I think he plays for the Celtics. I don't know. I found out he signed the biggest deal in NBA history, like a deal of 300 million. What? So, you know, I was trying to chat with him. <laughs> I feel like most people look at basketball players and just think they're just basketball players. Y'all just play with a ball. But a lot of guys are actually very smart. Like, I don't know why I'm saying it like this, but I was genuinely shocked and like impressed with everything he was saying. Or today, we're gonna have a lot of speakers. I know Kevin Hart is gonna be speaking today. Oh, and The Dream performed last night. I realized I actually don't know a lot of his songs. I think Timbaland is performing tonight. And this is supposed to be the last day of the summit. So I'm really excited. Wow, the skin is popping today. Can't lie. I can't let Oh my God, something embarrassing happened. Once I got to the Ritz where the summit is happening, I met this random guy. He was like the first guy that spoke to me. He said, oh, how are you doing? And he was actually pretty cute. I said, hello. <laughs> but he was like, how are you doing? Whatever, whatever. And I said, I'm doing good. He said, oh, so like, what do you know about this place? Or something like that. Well, I don't know, my manager just told me about it. And you know, I, I actually don't know anything about this. And then he was like, I said, oh, what do you do? Like, what do you know about this? He said, oh, I'm the founder. I created all of this. I wanted the, the floor to open up and swallow me. I think after he said that, like I just could tell like he didn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> then he started walking away. And I was honestly so embarrassed. Like, I don't know why I said that. I wanted to find him last night and be like, oh my God, like this is such an amazing time. Like, I'm so glad I came to this. And like, I wanted to make it up. You know, we all have embarrassing moments and I just wanted to share mine because I still can't believe that happened. Like, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. But it is what it is, you feel me? So let's go. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm not feeling my hair today. Like, why well, look humped up or hill? Flatten out. Also, when I go to the summit, I'm not bringing my camera because there's no like 100% content creators here. So I feel a little weird bringing out the camera, but it's whatever. Whoa, 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 yeah. That's because it's attached to the dream. The dream, the idea of the dream uh, is far-fetched for most, right? It's like, oh, oh my God, I dream, I wish I could. And it's way over there. Um, I'm an example of the dream becoming a reality. And the reality has to be told or shown in real time, live in real time. Cause a neck is a prank, her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that's in the nines. Breaking and bending the spines. I hate it. 